Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands yet again. Thank you for um, those that have come back again time after time. Um, it's much appreciated. Right, today I might be teaching Grandma to suck eggs. Um, you've probably seen a lot of these procedures or techniques before, but just going to go over a few things on wrapping wrapping paper what other things you can use for wrapping etc etc now wouldn't you just love to receive a parcel all decorated like this it's very straightforward it's very easy if you have a old headscarf that you don't really want to use anymore if you have maybe a large serviette depending on the size of your parcel um, all sorts of things can be used to wrap um, cut up and hem an old pillowcase um, it depends on the patination you want the you don't need any can't use really heavy fabric because that wouldn't sort of flow very well but um lightweight cotton is quite good um a lot of my scarves i got from a charity shop um so you're helping the charity at the same time so if you have a little rummage around the charity shops next door you want to make a pre wrap a present up um and then you can give the the scarf away as well Depending on who you're giving it to they may appreciate it or they may rewrap another present for someone else so how did I do this well it's quite straightforward I've got a either use elastic band or a hair elastic I've got a hair elastic here now for demonstration purposes I'm using an empty cardboard cereal box but you know you have your your present in here and you want it at a central point in your fabric scarf whatever you're using you need to bring two side points together and hold them together the next corner hold that together and the next corner hold back together then in the quarters the bits in the middle you need to bring them in and twist them slightly so that they're curled up bring it in twist it slightly so it's curled up and move around trying to keep everything as central as possible twist it in bring it in and twist it in now when you've got everything together you can bunch it up so trying to hold it together is a bit of a tricky bit but. and then you put your band on your elastic band etc get it all nice and low down as as low down as you can I use well this one I'm going around three times but it depends on how thick your fabric is and then basically you just pull on the the ends and produce your fabric flower as your decoration and you can tie your tag round and let it hang down the side um, you have to make sure your fabric will go all the way around your box or your, your parcel this box is a little bit squished because um, my scarf is just slightly too small for the, the length of the box width is fine but the length was a little bit tight but for demonstration purposes uh, excuse me mister that present is not for you I, well you, he does love boxes so maybe I could give it to him Okay, so that's that's one idea. So fabric of whatever description what you had to hand 
um, just to um, make a, a flower on the top of a, a box type. Another idea is to make your own wrapping paper. And I have some samples here. So let's get you in a little bit tighter. Okay, so this one. I mean, it's very basic, but you can, you know, enhance it, put other colours in, etc. All I've done is I've used my stamp pad and an inside of a label tube. Actually, I think it was the tube from my um, mini printer. Now, I always fight with these things. Let's see. Open my stamp pad. And basically stamp as many dot circles overlap change color so that, that's a lovely one to use inside all the cardboard edges of different tubes so another one I've got is the inside of a sellotape inside of a washi tape you could fix them together and then have different shapes um, you could tape them that way and you know just experiment what what shapes you can make out of your, your cardboard tubing um another idea i had was i have a hair remover this thing here um and it's for scraping on carpets to get the hair up because we have several cats in the house four at the moment soon to be five um so we have to keep the, the hair at bay so to speak um but this i thought would make a lovely stencil so once again i've uh, done a dotty pattern and literally in the ink back onto the paper in the ink back onto the paper change colors and you have instant wrapping paper depending on the size of the paper this is amazon packing paper i've used here it's quite um a thin paper but as long as you're not tugging at it too much it should wrap quite nicely around a present so give you a bit of a close-up on the dots so we've got dots and circles and I thought, well, why not use my stamps, my silicon stamps? So, experimenting with this, my leaves going every which way. And more dots on the back, different colours, trying to work out what was a good pattern, whether I wanted one, two colours, three colours, whatever. And... So that, that's my examples. Um, another thing you can use is wallpaper. Now I've got plain wallpaper here, but it doesn't have to stay plain. So maybe we go to our stamps and select the pattern we like. And I've chosen this um, beautiful rose pattern. Um, it's from a set John Next Door by John Lockwood. Now, I don't know if it's still around or anything. Um, I'll get you the details on the screen. Um, just so that if you fancy the thing, that, that's where I've got it. I think I got this from a charity shop, so... Um, I don't know who stocks it, but you should be able to find 
look it up if, if you're interested but it's a lovely stamp uh, I don't know why I closed that because I needed to use it again but here we go so for stamping it is better to put your let's bring you back up again better to put your block down with your silicon stamp facing up and put your ink to the stamp not stamp to the ink because one you get your fingers in the ink and end up all over the place and two you've got a bit more control with the pressure and if you wanted to get really fancy you could all like oh also work out where the flower was where the leaves was and stamp individually so back up to normal range I'm going to start at the bottom now don't panic I'm not going to be um, going all the way over this paper. It just gives you ideas, um, something to think about. So I'm staggering them so I can do them in. And then you may be able to do another pattern in between or you might like to swipe in that corner off there with the tissue because I don't want it spoiling my my pretty wrapping paper. Oh, I didn't quite stamp properly. Let's see if I can get onto it. Get that bottom bit that that's better. I'm a bit distracted because I have two cats having a, a um, licking each other ears party over to the side of me and they're just about to knock my inks all over the place. Let's get them out of the way, shall we? Okay. Um, don't be afraid to go off the edge of things either, so half stamp. It makes it look more authentic because when you have wallpaper wrapping paper they don't necessarily have a whole image on the on the paper so I think that red and yellow looks quite pretty my leaf was not from the same pack it was from a one that I've had for absolute years so I, I can't tell you where I um, sourced that from I'm afraid sorry about that now somewhere oh there it is I don't know if you can let me move out okay Zoom in a bit closer. So I was experimenting with this particular stamp, which is um, a Nina Craft stamp powered by unicorn dust, and I thought that would make a lovely wallpaper for a little girl. But the colour I've used is probably not the best colour because it's come out very faint. So I think what I would prefer to do on this one, which I'm going to have a go and experiment with you alongside you, is I'm going to get rid of this so I don't put my fingers in it again. Ooh, don't fight with these. So, ja. I've got some more Amazon wrapping paper. And I thought it might be fun 
to do in black and then maybe color them in different colors if you're that enthusiastic about it it would be be good fun so i want to see how that works out once again ink to the stamp not stamp to the ink this time i'm going to go in the middle and then work around the middle one now the unicorn's nose is not quite on my stamp block because my stamp block is not quite big enough that might work quite well happy with that and it's a, a darker image compared to the barely see image now if we used copy paper and I'm being told to use pink um, so we'll find some pink find some pink 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 pink, pink. there we go shopping pink um, actually it's rose passion you're going to make me fight with one of these again aren't you well the reason I was going to use the black is so you colour it in. But we shall see. But I think I think what it is is you need to experiment. Now, bit of copy paper A4, not very big. You can wrap a small present up with it. But you can also tape it together from the inside, so you can make bigger bits of paper. If you need to. So that's another option. Oh. Shame. Got a bit of a blodge on there. I don't know where that came from. I'll see it there now. Press his nose or her nose, I'm not sure. Must be must well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a her just because it's pink. I'm all for universal colouring. So maybe we could try it that we do black facing one way. And pink. Now if you if stamp is basically designed to face one direction, but if you want to have them facing different ways, then you just turn your paper. So you can experiment with the different um, stamps, which whatever you have available. Now stamps are reasonably inexpensive and they last for ages and ages. Um, so they're, they're really useful things to have and quite often once again, I'm a charity shop hound, what can I say? Um, and I find all sorts of um, crafting stuff in charity shops. So if you're on a budget, then that's probably the best place to go initially um, or shop around your own house for found items, you know, carpet scraper <laughs> um, um, 
even the end of a ruler. Let's have a go with that. This bit of paper is my practice paper, so let's bring me pink in and see. So, end of a ruler, I'll make some. I see that as. On a, no, let's try and get you in shot. Hang on. That's it. And then, the, um, then you go the other way. Now polish would ruin your. It will be a one and done. It will be a one and done on your um, silicon things. But even something as simple as the end of a ruler, you can make a crosshatch pattern. No. Just leave it to your own imagination. You know, you could just keep bouncing and going at angles and then maybe come in with a different colour and cross cross hatching cross hatch. Um I'm just looking for things on my desk, just to give you ideas. Um, let's try a different colour. You're probably bored with shocking pink now, aren't you? Let's see. What we got? Oh, I've got a, a nice one here, which is um, Archival Brilliance. I can get it in shot. Um, and this was a very lovely lady that I've did a happy mail swap with once and this is what she sent me and it's a beautiful colour I have a lid off of something and then you can do circles over the top grunge it or just do circles now, to be truthful, this um, beige colours on the background is not ideal for some of the lighter colours on the inks. So, the brighter the colour, if you're using a, um, a darker background, shall we say. So, the darker your background, the... the the darker the colour you need to be working with so like this dark pink and this black show up lovely but the green doesn't really show up very much now let's try this green you've just given me whatever this is it's like an olive green let's see how that comes out oh that's better yes So you can just play around, see what you can find. <laughs> you could have a competition so you can find the most unusual household thing to stamp with. That would be fun, wouldn't that? Put in the comments what you've found, what you've used. I'd be interested to, to see, you know, what you've come up with. Because um, I might not have thought of it. I do a, a fork. Well... I suppose you could. If if you can get the ink on it without damaging your ink pad, that's important. You don't want to damage your ink pad. Um, but you you can do. <laughs> um, well, you could use it for little dots. Depend on the the tines of the the fork. Um, Something like let's do this on the white paper. Where's my white paper? Mm. No, that's in another episode. So something like this will give you small dots. The end of the spatula will just give you little dots. So you could do your unicorns, and then you could look, do little dots around them, just to you know change up the colours and scissors thank you mummy and daddy for my Christmas present 
<laughs> and thank you, thank you, for mummy, for my inks because all the Stampin' Up inks were donated by my lovely mum. So, you get the idea. Now, also. Another thing you can wrap things up with is tissue paper. But you don't have to have, again, you don't have to have plain tissue paper. You can stamp your tissue paper. Also, like we did with the serviette pictures, um, you can use tissue paper that's been stamped to glue on to cards and whatever else you want to have an image um, it will give a slight background you need to tear the edges to give a rough background um, but you have to be careful because if you're using water soluble ink you may re regurgitate the ink make it um, smudge a little bit so it depends on your image if you're using stick glue then that should be fine um, but Experiment onto the side before you do your main item and see how it goes. But I'm pretty sure stick glue will, and especially if you put it to the back and not the front. Although once you've stamped it and it's dry, it's difficult to tell which is the back and which is the front. I think this is the front of it. Yeah, because it goes right way through. And when you're stamping on tissue paper, make sure you've got something underneath to take the um, what through oh now the cat's attacking the tissue paper excuse me that was not i needed that i did i needed that um and another thing mother's net curtains are back why not wrap your present up in a bit of net uh, but it's going to be difficult with the cat trying to attach itself to the other end of it. Excuse me. Can you please evict him? Oh, goodness me. So, lots of ideas, lots of food for thought on that. Now, I lost my dots. I quite like the leaf pattern that's one of my favorites and the rose and you could have the roses on top of the leaves you can mix and match um, so I think that's all for now um, thanks for watching much love bye bye see you in the next one